So one thing I definitely get asked quite often is like, how do you keep up with all of this stuff? I mean, this is not news to you, but AI obviously moves very quickly. So while one part of it is keeping track of everything that's breaking and there's like 50 things a day, the other side of it is that all of these breakthroughs are building off one another. Generally, I do follow the AI news sphere very closely. And then of course, there's all the podcast newsletters and everything else. Now, in terms of keeping track of it all, I am going to be the first to admit, I, I mean, I don't do it well. In fact, I would say I do it poorly. And look, I don't think that that's exclusive to AI. I think whatever you do in your day to day as well, I'm sure you are dealing with a lot of information overload as well. And I do think that a lot of us rely on either older organizational systems or even like the old school analog systems, which I do love and I do still use. But I do think with this like tidal wave of information that's coming at us all the time, a lot of those older systems are not cutting it anymore. So I have been experimenting around with some AI organizational tools, one of which we're going to take a look at today. It's called Recall call and yeah I think you're gonna find it pretty cool so recall essentially acts as an AI powered knowledge base that's designed to you know help you learn more and retain more now on first glance it may kind of just appear as online bookmarks but it is far more than that and we're catching them at a good time as they're rolling a new feature out so I was able to partner with them uh, to take us out on a demo tour of recall I'll have a link down below so you can get to recall I do want to note there is a zero dollar you know free tier essentially this is more meant to see if this is something that you know you click with and obviously if it does work for you you can upgrade to the paid tier although I do have a coupon code for you as well but for now let's go check out what recall does so at its core, again, Recall acts as a knowledge base capturing essentially anything that you come across that you want to capture. That goes for anything from like a Wikipedia page to a news article, uh, a YouTube video, podcast, etc. Essentially, if it lives on the internet, you can capture it. Obviously, being AI powered, you could generate summaries of those sources or even chat with them. But here's what's pretty interesting is that Recall will take all of the sources in your knowledge base and then begin to find connections between them. It does have some other interesting functions for retaining knowledge, uh, such as the ability to create AI generated test questions for yourself. Although I think most of us that are watching this are probably out of the era of cramming for exams. That said, I did kind of find it helpful to quiz myself on a few topics. Uh, we'll take a look at that a little later. But for now, let's head over to the main platform. So obviously here we have thumbnails of everything I have captured recently. Uh, you can actually bring in your entire bookmarks folder if you want. Want. That said, I chose to actually start fresh because, well, frankly, my bookmarks folder is a mess. So given that, what's actually pretty handy here is that if you notice, uh, Recall has actually auto-categorized uh, the three major topics that I've been uh, kind of researching lately between film industry, productivity, and technology. Each one of these can obviously be toggled um, so that it just highlights what is in that particular category. So each of these thumbnails is, of course, a card. And again, this can be anything from a Wikipedia article, a YouTube video, or like even a PDF. Uh, to create a new card, you simply come up and create a new card. From here, the way that well, most of us will probably use it is by pasting a URL in. Uh, there was an interesting story recently about a band called The Velvet Sundown, uh, which is an AI-generated band that has 325,000 listeners listeners on Spotify. That is a topic that I definitely want to save to dig into later. Um, so, you know, we simply paste the uh, the URL in and uh, we can click to summarize and we, there we have a full summarization of it. This additionally also creates a notebook for us with a concise summary. Uh, you can add in your own notes in here as well. For example, popping in a note for myself, like should there be a top 10 playlist on Spotify for AI generated music? Now, obviously there is a lot more that we can do here, but uh, first I wanna take you over to the Chrome extension because let's face it, nobody wants to copy paste URLs all day long. So obviously the recall extension is free. Uh, simply head over to the Chrome web store and uh, download the recall summarize anything, forget nothing extension. Once installed, obviously you can pin it to your toolbar. Uh, here's an interesting article um, from MIT News on accelerating scientific discovery with AI. Uh, all we need to do is simply hit our button here uh, and then it'll automatically generate our notebook for us. We have our concise summary here, uh, let's save. One nice little quality of life feature is that we can expand this out so that, um, you know, essentially our recall window is now taking over you know, the main page. Um, you know, from here, we do have the option to go with a more detailed summary. 
which obviously provides us with a lot more detail on the article. What I kind of like about this is that while it does contain sort of a notes version of what's in the article, there is a reader version here as well. I feel that that kind of encourages you to, you know, actually still read the article. So while I am all for AI summarizations, I think that they should be treated as such as summaries. I think you do lose a lot of like nuance and uh, point of view when you, know, you don't actually read the article. That goes for you guys in the comment sections that don't watch the videos too. I know who you are. Going back to my recall page, we can of course see that our MIT article is here and our Velvet Sundown article is here as well. I do want to quickly note because we have a card for it here. Uh, I actually use the Arc browser. I don't actually use Chrome that much. And indeed, because Arc is Chromium based, you can still use Recall with it. Uh, it just appears up here in your extension. Uh, this is an article on apparently Apple is uh, considering letting Anthropic and OpenAI power Siri. Speaking of Siri, yes, you can do all of this on mobile as well. Uh, we'll take a look at that in just a minute. And again, it doesn't have to be a website. For example, this is a PDF uh, Google just released, uh, visual editing with Blender, so pretty cool. But obviously these white papers are very technical. So if you're not a 3D expert or an AI researcher, this is a really great way of being able to kind of catch the gist of it. Additionally, you can always chat with it as well. For example, asking questions like, does this also texture the Blender models? Or what are some of the limitations of Blender Fusion? But again, what I think is really cool about all of this is that it's not just, you know, bookmarks and summarizations, but uh, again, it's, it's creating a knowledge base that's interconnecting all of these things that you input into it. Uh, and you can see that via this graph. So initially, while this may look like a Gemini 2D representation of a fireworks show, uh, what it actually is, if you kind of zoom in here, uh, is each one of our topics that are kind of mind mapped to one another. This is where things get pretty interesting. Uh, this is an article on AI wearable technology, something I am interested in and have been thinking about doing a video about. We see that our article also connects to Apple and from Apple, there are a number of different places that it connects to. Obviously from here, we'll get to things like the CES Consumer Electronics Trade Show, but What's interesting to me is that these paths may lead out into wholly other areas uh, that I've also been researching, like uh, like essentially kitting out your iPhone to become like a cinematic camera. Not that I'm planning on doing that, but I think that anybody watching this channel knows that feeling of like, but it's a gadget. I, I need to I need to buy it to add it to my collection of gadgets that I don't use. But going back to recall, it'll also take you into some pretty interesting directions, like, you know, obviously from Apple to CarPlay, and then from CarPlay, a podcast that I was listening to about Tesla's uh, robo taxis as well. And then, of course, you know, it branches out from there. Now, personally, I really do love mind maps and things like this, because I, I really do think that it helps you visualize connections and, and creates a lot of like creativity. Uh, you can, of course, click into any one of these and you'll find all of your additional connections here. And then you can even go into graph over here and kind of have a, a mini version of it as well. And then obviously through each one of the mini graphs, you can of course continue to graph out so that essentially just so that it isn't super overwhelming. And that's kind of where recall ends up differing from something like Notebook LLM is that, you know, with something like Notebook LLM, you're limited to a few sources that you input. Whereas with recall, essentially, you know, your, your knowledge base is everything you put into it. Now, the newest feature that Recall has introduced is called augmented browsing. Uh, essentially, what this does is, uh, while well, taking this article on uh, browsers that have better tab management than Chrome, uh, what you'll notice is that there's this little uh, like kind of widget right here. So uh, as we go through the article, in which I guess the number one is Opera, um, and then number two is my beloved Arc, um, if we come up to our little widget here, you can see that there are six connections found in this article to other things in our knowledge base. You'll find these via highlighted text that you'll see on the page. For example, coming down to iOS here, uh, we can find all of the connections that we have in our knowledge base. Uh, for example, there is that Apple CarPlay article uh, that we had looked at in the graph. So obviously this serves as a pretty great passive way of finding connections between various topics that you're researching. Two quick notes on augmented browsing that uh, when I talked to Recall, they definitely wanted to let you know about. Uh, the first of which is that you, you do have to turn it on in your browser settings. So it is opt-in. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. Uh, the second of which is that this is actually happening locally. No data actually ends up leaving your device. Now, obviously information comes to us from all over the place. And a lot of times, you know, you're gonna end up being on your phone. Uh, luckily, uh, once again, Recall does have a mobile app. 
Again, this one is pretty easy. Simply download the app. And when you run across something that you want to add to your knowledge base, for example, Adobe apparently kind of quietly dropped a free iPhone camera app, uh, supposedly pretty good. So uh, all we have to do is come up and hit the share button and then share it via recall. Everything that we have on the desktop version, uh, we now have in the mobile version as well rounding out and this is a feature that I don't think all of us will necessarily use but you can actually quiz yourself on your material as well uh for taking one of my own videos and this is where I actually kind of find it uh, a little bit handy at least for me uh is that I will take one of my own uh videos and you know essentially create a quiz about it now, personally, for me, I actually kind of like this feature only because I cover so much stuff. It's actually a good way of just making sure that I remember what's in my own videos. But I'm sure that you can come up with your own use case for quizzing yourself. So if you are interested in recall, you can give them a shot over at getrecall.ai uh, linked down below. There is, of course, again, a zero dollar like free tier that you can try out again more on the demo side. And then if you decide that you want to jump up to the paid tier, they have been kind enough to provide us with a discount code as well. Thanks to Recall for sponsoring today's video. And I'm not just saying that, I really am using this. I, I do think it's actually really good. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Recall in the comments down below. As always, I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.